So welcome. So I'm Sky, I'm the vicar here, and it's so good that we can gather like this um, with fire in the presence of God. And so hopefully in your hands you've got a little order of service, and the bold bits are the bits that we say together. The Lord be with you. And also with you. All creation is waiting. For well, what are we waiting? We wait for a miracle. Who is this miracle? It is our Messiah, Jesus, the one who saves. Come, let us worship and give thanks. So today is St. Nicholas Day, it's the 6th of December. And this is the saint our church here is named after, and the school, of course, up the road. So who is this man? And what made him important enough to have churches across the world named after him? Now, Nicholas was born during the third century in the village of Petra in Asia Minor. Now, if your geography is as bad as mine, that is now in the southern coast of Turkey. His wealthy parents who raised him to be a devout Christian, they died in an epidemic while Nicholas was still young. Now obeying Jesus' words to sell what you own and give money to the poor, Nicholas used his whole inheritance, all his money, to assist the needy, the sick, and the suffering. He dedicated his life to serving God and was made Bishop of Myra while still a young man. So Bishop Nicholas, became known throughout the land for his generosity to those in need, his love and his care for children, and his concern for sailors and ships of his seaside city. Now today there are many wonderful stories and legends about St. Nicholas' life and deeds, stories about his compassion and extraordinary faith, healing the sick, rescuing children and sailors from death. One of the most famous ones, and one of my favourite stories, is that he saved three girls from a life on the street by providing them with dowries. And so, because of this, developed the tradition of bearing gifts to children on this feast day. And of course, later influenced our Christmas traditions of giving and receiving gifts. So I think you would agree, he's not a bad person for our church here to be named after. So I'm going to get Jeff to come up and give us our Bible reading. It's a passage from Mark, and it's about how important children are to God. And I think that's the heart of St. Nicholas' ministry. And in fact, it carries an important message for us as, as well, because no matter what age we are, we are God's children we are important to God, and we matter. So from Mark's Gospel, chapter 10. People were bringing little children to him in order that he might touch them. And the disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Don't stop them, for it is to such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he took them up in his arms, laid his hands on them, and blessed them. Thanks, Jeff. So today, as we journey through Advent... What can we learn from St. Nicholas? Who is he for us? So perhaps today we can be inspired to follow his example, live our lives helping others, even those that others would see as less important or unworthy of help. Maybe we can think about the gifts that we will give or receive, less about money and more about showing that we care. Or perhaps today we will recommit our lives with living in the same generosity and commitment and focused faith that St. Nicholas showed. 
going to let you have a think about that as Joel leads us in some short prayers. Okay, so some short prayers. But the short prayers do have quite a long response for you to remember. So when I say the Spirit of the Lord was upon him, I'd like you to respond by saying to bring good news to the poor and heal the brokenhearted. So if any of you remember all of that, I'll be impressed. The Spirit of the Lord was upon him to bring good news to the poor and to heal the brokenhearted. All-powerful God, you made St. Nicholas a bishop and leader of the church to inspire your people with his teaching and example. May we give fitting honour to his memory and always have the assistance of his prayers. The Spirit of the Lord was upon him to bring good news to the poor and to heal the brokenhearted. As Nicholas reached out to the poor and needy, May we extend the hand of Christian charity wherever it is needed. Use us as instruments of your love to a world in need of that love. The Spirit of the Lord was upon him to bring good news to the poor and to heal the brokenhearted. In this holy season of Advent, let the light of the Christ child so shine in our hearts that we are filled with the glory of the Lord. Make our worship truly a time of hope, peace, joy, and love. The Spirit of the Lord was upon him to bring good news to the poor and to heal the brokenhearted. We ask all these things through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I think it's definitely time now to switch on our lights, don't you think? So I, I, I hope it's obvious where I switch. <laughs> yeah. I might need a, one, of, one of the team to um, switch on the light. Have some drum roll. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous light. So there's a prayer there on that sheet that we say together. God of joy and cheer, we thank you for your servant, the good Bishop Nicholas. In loving the poor, he showed us your kindness. In caring for your children, he revealed your love. Make us thoughtful without need of reward, so that we too may be good followers of Jesus. Amen. 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 You've all been very patient. For the gift of each person here, we give thanks for the capacity to care for and to share with those in need. We give thanks. And for a holiday season full of joy, hope and peace, we give thanks. So to each of you here, it's been a crazy year, but thank God we've made it. And so a blessing to go out with for those who need to leave. Christ, the Son of Righteousness, shine upon you, scatter the darkness from before your path, and make you ready to meet him when he comes in glory. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be with you and all those you love, now and always. Amen. Amen. So it wouldn't be a St. Nicholas Day without some gifts for you to get. So um, we have, I think, 60 on the tree. So um, perhaps youngest first and oldest can receive a lollipop and those in between can get one afterwards. And then if you want to sing, stay and we'll sing our first carol, which is in the bleak midwinter. God bless you. <laughs>